Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former undefeated Central Area Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Gorman! Okay, boys, I'm a cold break. One step back. Don't punch the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Nathan Gorman, undefeated fighter from Cheshire. Massively the bigger man. Slightly shorter, but weighing over 18 stones. Morgan de Sau, 14 stone 9. And all the talk is about Gorman potentially fighting Daniel Dubois somewhere in the future. And it looks as though this could go quickly. To Sau, early signs that he was struggling to keep his man away. Well, McCormick has good variety in his work. He might, he might not have the same one-punch power as maybe a, a Dubai right now, but his variety in his work is very good. He's quite athletic. He doesn't really box like a heavyweight. He boxes him more like a, like a lightweight, like a middleweight. He's fast hands, fast feet. And you saw here with a, with a loose guard, which uh, I think that right hand of, of Gorman might exploit him any time now. Well, I think his chin out, did not he? Decent right hand though from Dassau. Gorman just trying to walk him down. Works with Ricky Hatton, of course. He was there in the corner as he was being introduced. And he's the one who'll be giving the advice between rounds. Nine knockout wins in his 11 victories so far. Dassau only turned pro at the age of 32 and almost stumbled down there and he's under attack and not throwing too much of consequence back. He's going to try and get those, those straight punches in the south just to keep Gorman away. Good body shot there from Gorman a second ago. He's trying to dig the shots in, Gorman. Just, if he relaxes a little bit more, there's like those combinations throw. I think that's where his strength is at. Only had 11 amateur bouts, Nathan Gorman. Said he couldn't get them because as a kid he was so big, apparently he weighed 16 and a half stones when he was just 14 years old. <laughs> He'd be a teacher, eh? Good job, he's a good-natured lad. Small, uh, little attack there from the show, but it's all just tip the stuff from Gorman's hand to block it and give a smile. He'd be feeding back to the ropes, but that's better from Gorman. Get behind that jab. A little slip to the side and come back to the left too. Caught him there, and he's gone. Left hand, putting him out down for the first time. And he can't cope with the power of Nathan Gorman, quite clearly. Referee Stephen Gray having a very close look at him. The clock ticking down, 20 seconds to somehow try and survive. Caught him with a right uppercut, and another left hand. And he's bullying him around the ring. It could end right here and now. He's trying to cover up, trying to survive. He may just see it through to the bell to end this opening round. Referee having a very close look and he allows it to continue and he allows it. He allows him to go back to his corner. A little assault there, wasn't it, from Gorman? It all started with the knockdown with a sharp little left hook. The speed of the shot. It Instead was of going down Gorman. the middle, go down the middle with a, with a jab. Let's watch again how it came. There's the left hand. It was the first left hook that done all the damage for me. It's a big shit with that. The real fast left hook. Didn't see it. Then he was just covering up then it just just, just tumbled to the floor then after that. But that, that was the shot. Didn't know where he was, couldn't see it. Let's listen in to the corner and hear from Ricky Hatton with his fighter. Yeah, like yeah, absolutely brilliant, mate. Showing your boxing. You're showing your boxing, you're showing your ability, and you're showing you can mix up and get nasty oh, and nasty when you're in the box. Same again. He's come out swinging again, Morgan de Oh, caught by another left hand from Gorman. 
you've got to give the show his credit. He's having a little pop, isn't he? Well, he's giving it a go, but he's going to go again, surely. Yeah, Gorman yeah, leaning on to him, heavy-handed. He says that Ricky Hatton's a perfectionist. Well, he said that he was delighted with what he'd done so far. And he's looking to end this fight, for me, right here, right now, here in this second round. Referee looking very closely. He wants to see something coming back, and nothing too much is. Bravely tries to swing De Sao. Then with a decent left hook there, De Sao, to be fair, but I don't think there's much weight, much purchase behind the punches from De Sao. Oh, caught again by a left hook. Referee looking to step in there, wasn't he? There's plenty of people who will scream mismatch, and he stopped it. Plenty of people will scream mismatch, mismatch, but it really is difficult to find fighters for these young pros, heavy-handed young people like Nathan Gorman, just 21 years old, like Daniel Dubois, a year younger. To be fair to show, he had a little bit of a pop, he just had the strength. Good performance, and we'll hear the official confirmation in just a moment or two. Bet boost from William Hill. Let's you enhance the odds that Matt. Easy victory for Nathan Gorman. Didn't really have to take anything. And when the end came, the referee did absolutely the right thing. Yeah, he did. He wasn't firing back. I think in the first round, he fired back enough just to, to see him to the final bell, to, to the bell, the end of the round. But that was uh, the last second when he came out. He had a little pop. He took that sharp left hook again. And then the onslaught then was just too much for him. And I think you know, he could have gone down or arrested. Maybe we would have seen a more con conclusive finish. But I think Steve Gray did the right thing, called it off. This it is what it is. They're building these fighters up. It was always going to be an easy fight, relatively easy fight for Gorman. But listen, he gets out, he gets another win, and he's, built, he's still a 21 year old young man for this, this weight division. And it's all about learning your trade and doing what you do in the gym, transferring that to the, to the fight night, which I think he's doing. Didn't really prove a lot except that Nathan Gorman can hit very hard. Two fighters are in the middle now, and here's Thomas once more with the microphone to tell us exactly when the end came. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, eight seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, stops the contest as the red corner was in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner and still undefeated, Nathan Gorman. So win number 12, and that is 10 by stoppage. What's it proved to you, Richie? Well, I think, uh, you know, he's coming along nice. He's obviously with, with Ricky Hatton. He's in a good camp. Well, I know a lot about Nathan Gorman. I remember him up at GB. Took him on the pads many times. He's very deceiving, actually. He, you know, he's a fairly big unit. Um, he looks, sometimes he looks a little bit out of shape, but he's got good skills. He's got very good, decent power. And there, it just showed you a little, little bit of skill there because his opponent fell short with the right hand, and it was that first left hook, a lovely, well-timed shot. Good, good technique that caught him and put him over. So, yeah, I like Nathan Gorman. He's a good kid. 400 rounds, remember, 400 rounds uh, sparring alongside uh, Daniel Dubois. Rounds with Joshua. Rounds with Joe Joyce. Rounds with Fraser Clark. Forget the 11 uh, amateur fights. Forget the 12 now senior uh, professional fights. This kid is doing his business away from the limelight. And, Paul, it's always been hard to match professionals. You don't want to tell me how bad Frank Bruno's 12th opponent was. I assure you, they wouldn't even give him a job here in the tea room, serving teas and coffees, let alone getting Quite a taken, ring, trust Steve, me. But some people may look an opponent who weighed, remember, the, the better part of four stone Absolutely. lighter and say, you know, this is the bare minimum required. He's the no third, more than that. He's the third opponent we've had in the last 10 days on our sheets that we've been getting sent. And I've been speaking to various people inside Frank Warren's office. These guys want too much money for coming in. They're a victim of their own success and profile. You go online, you see BT little highlight clips. You see Box Nation highlight clips of these guys bashing people up. And that makes the agent throw a couple of extra quid on. At least this could look okay. He could, and he was game. He did try. And conversely, 18 stone for Gorman, Richie. Is that right? Is that logical? Like I said, Paul, he's deceiving. He's a big, he's a big, big fella. He could probably lose probably a stone, stone half easily. But, the, but at the same time, Paul, he's got good power, he's got decent technique. 
Yeah, I like him. He's, he's a prospect. He obviously needs tougher tests, and, that, and that's the problem that they've got. But let, let's see what he does. 